Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode number two of the Coventry Crusade. This episode, we are going to be playing a game against Northampton, which is actually earlier than what I was expecting to come back. I was thinking of coming back for the Millwall game, but with having Leicester in the English Football League Cup, I wanted to do that one in another episode. So, if we're going to come back for this game instead, that gives us a little bit more of a gap. It would have been too quick to come back there, then come back straight for Leicester three games later, so it's not right. We'll do the Northampton one, because they are ninth, the higher up in the league than Millwall anyway, who are 14th. And it's not too much to digest. So since the episode against Swindon, we've had one, two, three, four, five games. We start off with a 1-1 draw with, with Wickham in the um, League Cup. It actually went to penalties. They had a man sent off in the um, 70, 107th minute and it went right down to the very end of the penalty shootout because it took us the 86th minute to get the goal. So it's like, right, okay. And they held on pretty much all game. They just completely dominated. Their goalkeeper had it by half time. He was on about a 7.8 rating. So it's like, right, okay, this is going to be interesting. I'm probably not going to break them down and win this. And eventually we got the goal late on and took the points not the points the um result to go up against leicester in the next round so lovely performance there we then play shrewsbury beat them 2-0 again they had a man sent off a few red cards this season already um they didn't overly do much in the game they came forward a few times that was about it in terms of our attacking impetus we did quite well gosh had a good game two assists from him and Haynes getting his first goal for the club. So after we play Shrewsbury, we play Berry, beat them 1 0, and Jones with the goal there. We missed the penalty as well late on, which would have just really sealed it off and left, made it less edgy, but got the win nonetheless. And another red card in this game as well, so quite an interesting start to the season. After them, we played Bradford City, beat them 2 1. Again, a very good game. We started off well, got the two quick goals, and they came back and got one late on. Holding on quite late, they had a good second half rally, and just were struggling to cope with them at times, but we were able to get the win anyway, and hold on. After we played Bradford, we played Preston in the English FA League Cup second round. No, that's it, we played them, and we got drawn against Preston. For some reason, that threw me then. Uh, beat them 1-0, wasn't expecting to get through this game because Preston are a better team. I'm pretty sure they're in the championship as well. So beating them was absolutely amazing. I was not expecting that. And I completely didn't even think of doing that game as a live comp, which would have been good. Um, yeah, so that gets us to draw with Leicester. So we're going to get into today's game against Northampton and see how we do against them guys. At the minute in the league, we are sitting in second behind the Doms, and we haven't lost a game yet, which is really surprising. The, the title of this episode is going to be unexpected because I was not expecting it to be this high up the league already. But saying that, down to 11th, there's only a six points gap, so lose two games and we could be back, back down in 12th. So I'm not holding my breath on anything. So we're going to get into the game, guys. In terms of the squad, we've are quite tired simply and we got this game here against Northampton again and check his trade cup coming up as well so we have to do some player management and that is one thing we've also brought in one player Barry Fuller uh, just a backup right back who we're going to need anyway um, at the minute they keep putting rickets out there I don't want him there because Sterry is my starter and he goes there right left back Stokes is still out injured. How long is he out for? Another three months, okay. Got to for there. He had a good game last game, but he's tired, so Stevenson can come in. Um effectively that's all I really want to do. I don't want to disrupt the team too much. And I don't know if I'm gonna bring anyone else in because these players are coming back soon. That's three months, that's three months as well, a couple of days or weeks, sorry. That's a couple of weeks as well, so it's going to be interesting and see how we get on. Right, so let's get going. We are apparently the favourites. 
Hey, where, where are they? Ninth. They're, they're doing okay. I'm not sure exactly where they're meant to finish. And they're going strikeless. That's the first team I've seen this whole FM that start the game off strikeless. So that's a very interesting ploy by them. And then we hope to have a good performance and see what we can do. Right, so if you're enjoying the series, guys, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode because I'm hoping to have this up every day um, as of the moment. Um, this will be get, going up Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is, to be honest, or, or, or Tuesday. So, yeah, this will be going up Tuesday. This one. As well, I say, we whipped the ball and Sheaf's got it down, but Anderson claims it. And we're going to... 20 or 28 minutes in, and this is the first highlight we've had. Sterry's got it. Can he get the ball in the box? He can, but not past there. But we Daniel nicks it back and shoots, but Smith with a good save. Oh, that was close. And a very good save by the goalkeeper. They've got one man sitting up to 27. Sheaf heads it down to Daniel. Where's he going? Loses to Hanley, but he gives away the free kick, so who got a decent chance to put a ball in the box here, Jones with it, where's he going, in the middle, Sheaf, I don't quite know what that was, but it didn't work, and it ends a hollow, but it goes straight to a corner for us, Stevenson, but Smith saves it, completely unmarked at the back post, and we're attacking heavily, what, 61% of the ball over there, 40, and how we're not leading this, I don't know. But they're sitting so many players back. Haynes has it now into Jones. As he's going into Sterry. Shoots, doesn't get anything on it. It's Dr. Taylor, who's got space to run into. Who's not going very quick. Sterry nicks it back, though. Um, Gale gives it back to Stevenson, and we end the highlight. It ends half time at nil nil. Come on, lads. Tell them we're not happy and see if we can do something in the second half. Maloney into Anderson. Surely they've got to come out and attack a bit more. Haynes and Jones. Where's he going? Beautyman. <laughs> what a surname that is. I bet he got ripped in school for having um, a surname like that. Jones whips over the top for Gale, but Sterry's got it. Shoots again from distance. I don't quite know why our right back is shooting from there. I have to definitely check his instructions after this game and see if we can take that off. Because that's just losing the ball every now and again. Daniel's probably going to come up he's not having the best of games, and so is probably Ricketts, who isn't having the best of games either. Yeah, let's take Daniel off for gay and Ricketts can come off oh no I don't really want to bring on Willis he's quite tired mm, let's bring on Gosh though for Sheaf he's not having the best of games and switch Gosh and Stevenson around and see if we can do something a little bit better there in the middle of the field this episode is going to be a lot shorter than the last one. Well, the first episode was about 28 minutes long. This one's going to be about 15 max, I reckon. So I'm at the 60th minute now. As I say, Haynes is in. Oh, good save by Smith again. And how we've not um, broken that door down, I have no idea. We're, we're completely kicking it in. It's just not going <laughs> down. Smith has been their best player so far. 75 minutes gone and nothing's happening. Can we get something? Let's just pause this. Let's go to attacking. Throw man forward. They sent everyone back. They've had one shot all game. Surely we can get something out of this. And 89 minutes, we're not. We've got one last chance. Corner in. Maloney heads it clear. Jones gets it again. Can we get this ball back in the box into Stevenson? Heskiff. Isn't there? Ricketts into Stevenson. Jones. Back to Turnbull. Stevenson. Where's he going? Turnbull into Haynes. Into Jones. Where's he going now? 
into Heskiff, into to go shoot. Oh, he puts it over the bar. That was our chance, wasn't it? We're not going to get another one. It's going to be a dead goal kick, and the whistle's going to go in a moment. Hmm. Two forward. Turnbull knocks it down to Gosh. He comes forward with it. Where's he going? Into Sterry. Gosh again. Gale. Loses to Hanley. Gives away another foul. This is probably going to be like our chance now. I doubt there's going to be any others. Into Sterry on the right. Whips it in. And Smith comes out and claims it. Hmm. This is a pointing there. Not what I expect from the game. We've been doing so well to then come and draw this. And when we've dominated so much and they've just literally offered nothing going forward is just really upsetting. How we were only able to get a draw, I do not know. Which keeps us in second on 13 points. No one behind us has caught us actually, so it's not too bad. So... We're going to end the episode off there, lads. So next time we are going to be playing against Leicester City in the English Football League Cup third round. And hopefully getting a good result because we're at home. But I'll take a draw. I really am not expecting to go through. But I want to put up a good performance, see how we do against a Premiership opposition and try and have a good result. But... I was expecting to go out and probably go out in quite horrendous fashion. So if you, if I click over here, so if you've enjoyed, smash that like button. Oh, that way, that way. <laughs> the camera's the wrong way around. I'm not used to it. So smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next episode, guys, for when we take on Leicester. So I'll see you then.